Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. This is Sawa of Cat Malay Cooking and Other Delights video tutorials. I do hope you're all keeping well and safe. So today I'm sharing with you my dalchi recipe. And for this recipe you'll need two cups of chana or pea flour, half a cup of cake flour, or cake fl plain flour you can always also use, and one and a half teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon salt, two teaspoons cumin, which is which is also known as jira, and you can see I've got heap teaspoons, two teaspoons coriander or kuljana, one teaspoon pori or turmeric. And three teaspoons crushed chilies. So you can uh, adjust the chilies according to your preference, but um, three teaspoons should be sufficient. It doesn't give a very spicy dolce. You're going to give that a quick stir before adding your two cups of chopped dania. So you can, I've chopped my vegetables quite roughly. One chopped potato and one chopped onion. If you like yours finer, you can even grate your onions and potato as well. And stir that. Next, you're going to add in your water. So you're going to use about three quarter to one cup of water. I always suggest starting with a three quarter cup of water, then you can add more water as needed. You want a, a stiff mixture for this uh, dalchis. And if you're not going to fry your dalchis uh, straight away, uh, just um, stop until you've reached all, adding all the ingredients. And before frying, you add your water. Because the vegetables also draw water. So you don't want a runny, too runny batter. So stir that until it's fully combined. You can see it's a stiff dough. Just a nice dropping consistency. Right, and then you're going to need a uh, heat a uh, pot with oil. You can either use uh, vegetable or sunflower oil. And a trick, a trick that I've learned is to dip a wooden spoon, the bottom of the wooden spoon, the handle of the wooden spoon in the oil. When it bubbles, your oil is ready. So you're going to fry these over medium heat. You don't want it to fry too quickly. So drop the little dough balls into the hot oil, a spoon at a time. You can choose how big you want your, your dolches. And again, I've just used an ordinary uh, dessert spoon. So keep them, keep uh, flipping them around until it's golden brown in color. If the heat gets too high or too hot, you just turn it down lower. So you can fry evenly and uh, fry inside as well. So mine took about three, three and a half minutes to fry. And then I removed it with a slotted spoon and drain on paper towels. And as I say, this recipe or dalchis is best eaten uh, straight after frying. So you just continue until you use all your dough. And for this uh, um, recipe, I get about, about uh, 30 decent sized dolches out of this recipe I get out. And as you can see, as we went along, the, the dolches is getting more horns because my daughter wanted to have a go as well at frying. So I gave her a chance as well and the last bit you can see has got some horns on. So I'm breaking one open for you to see the texture inside. Nice and moist. And you can still see the vegetables inside as well. So that's me for today. I hope you're going to keep watching and follow me on Instagram, YouTube and Facebook, Cape Malay Cooking and Other Delights. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Assalamu alaikum.